Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Solace Crafting Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on terraforming land in order to build a starting town or just simply a solace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you with a grassland rolling hills type of biome. So in order to flatten the land there to build a town like you can see I've got starting here and then we're going to move to a mountainous area where it's very hilly and show you how you can just flatten a bit of land to put down a solace stone uh, right so let's get started okay so as you can see here I've flattened this all this ground out of the surrounding landscape so you can do a really huge area um, but having said that you know unless there's something really special resource wise nearby you just go to a flatlands to build a massive town um, this could be quite a big town but I did it just to practice with the terraforming so what I want to do to get us started is find somewhere that's not flat because obviously we can't not very good to show terraforming there so we're going to come over here a bit oh no we don't need that so let's demonstrate with here so it's rolling hills all around me the first thing to bear in mind when terraforming is you need to free the area of obstructions now up ahead there you can see that massive massive rock that's a natural landscape feature you cannot remove that the smaller boulders like that one we can remove that one you can't remove so the first thing to do wherever you want to build your town you're first going to need to clear the area of all obstructions so let's try and clear the area around me to start with this really is it's not advanced terraforming I'm going to be showing it's just the basics of terraforming so we're going to remove all of these items because they will be obstructions the thing that you possibly will have a problem with is the vegetables leaks and carrots and cabbages because they're tiny in the ground although the developer has mentioned in his latest update that he's going to make vegetable mounds so you, they're more visible because at the moment it can be a bit of a nightmare um, but it's handy for if you want to find vegetables using terraforming because they show us obstructions right okay so I think I've cleared enough of the close obstructions to me so if we press the tab key that brings up this window and the very last tab is terraforming that now shows us this 3x3 three three grid here if you keep the right mouse button pressed you can move around and if I stood there I'm obstructing do you see it says here I'm obstructed so we need to move out of that grid right now that I'm out of the grid there's two ways that you can terraform by default it starts on the manual mode I'm going to call it manual because it allows you to raise and lower all of the land in that grid individually so each tile individually this means the land is high the blue up arrows this means the land is lower the down arrows this means that the land is not flat it's sort of a little uneven you'll know when the land is flat because it'll be just a f straight line which is what we want to achieve now so the manual mode is handy for if you want to raise the land around a solace you've placed so you don't have to keep jumping to get on the solace but the what I'm going to demonstrate is the what I like to call the auto mode so it's going to automatically do all of the uh, landscape around the center here and what we're going to do so let's unlock the height I'll get to showing this now so the first thing we'll do now that I've set it to that we're going to click flatten so we can get a baseline of flat land because at the moment none of this is flat it's all uneven 
So when I click flatten, watch what happens around this area there. There you go, you see it's just flattened the land. Once you've got a grid of flattened land, see this is now a flat line, that's telling us that it's flat. Once we've got that flat line, then we're going to lock the flatten height. And it's going to lock it at that height. So now I can use the WASD keys, as you can see there, to move the grid around. So I'm going to move it one to the left, and flatten. I'm going to move it to the north. Now notice there it's telling us it's obstructed. So that's possibly a little vegetable. So let's have a close look. This is what you have to be careful of. Something is obstructing this grid. It's all in the detail. Uh, let's come out of terraforming, see if we can see it better. Sometimes they're really tiny and difficult to see, as is this case. So there's something here obstructing us, but I can't even see the vegetable. There it is. See? Little tiny cabbage. Very difficult to see, but it will stop you terraforming. So we'll come back to our flattened land. That was a good example of what to look out for. So we go back to terraforming and oops doing the wrong keys let's try and find where we were at but it doesn't matter we don't need to find where we was at because we've got our baseline I've locked it to flatten at that height so now if I move this grid around me I can just keep clicking flatten In that coal, you can do a super big area really quickly, providing there's not too many obstructions. You see, because I was stood in the grid, it said obstructed, but it isn't obstructed, so we'll flatten that, move it there. So you can really flatten a vast, vast area really quickly. Now you have to be careful with some areas because they get too steep. Oh look, there's another obstruction there. Let's just move to the right of it. obstructed obstructed what's obstructing it over here probably another little vegetable again it could be hidden under the one of these colored blocks oh there it is it's a mushroom tiny little items which will stop you from terraforming the land so but you can see so all you got to do is go over and scan it right let's carry on so the idea is I want to try and show you you can get a nice big flat area, build a nice big town. Why is that obstructed? Oh there he is, fine. Because I've locked in that flatten height, you see, I haven't got to mess around raising or lowering. So it can be really simple and a lot of fun watching yourself flatten out a huge chunk of land. and obstructed over there.
there you go see look at this nearly all completely flat just that bit over there there you go that's completely all flat think you can get the hang of it now it is pretty straightforward but you do need to get used to it you do need to have a bit of a practice obviously with anything in life you need to practice practice makes perfect and it, it was fortunate with the bit of land I chose because there's not hundreds of trees and rocks and boulders and so you know that's what you want to take into consideration when you're choosing a site for a town it might be though that uh, there's a resource nearby that you want to build a town next to in which case you work with what you've got if you've got lots of trees and stuff you need to clear them all if you have boulders like that you've just got to accept that there's no way to remove that so you build around it um, could go out this way as well um, right now so the, the the grid is over there what about though if I turn around and I want to put the grid just here well there's a recenter we do that it then just puts it by us nice easy peasy so then we'll left click flatten there see look at that isn't that marvelous isn't it a joy to do this It's an obstruction here to another vegetable. Let's see if I can see the vegetable. Sometimes you've got to look pretty hard like I've shown, but that's the point of this video, to show you these obstructions. You might think, oh no, it's bugged up. You know, there's no obstruct. There is, you just need to find it. It could be tiny. This won't be a problem for much longer, because like I say, the developer is aware of the fact that tiny little vegetables are difficult to find. I might have to remove the grid to find it because it might be hidden under one of the coloured blocks. You can rem you can zoom in close well actually it's just carry on like this. Let's see if I can find it. Wow it's got to be a tiny little thing. Let's remove the grid. See if that helps. No, this one is very hidden. So yeah, you're going to have fun with some of the terraforming, trying to find the obstructions. Um, because this isn't going to be an issue for much longer, because the vegetables are going to be much more prominent once the developer's done what he said he's going to do I'm not going to dwell on that but there you go look at this nice big huge area and of course I could keep going you know I can make this area as big as I want is the only thing it boils down to is time and that's telling us there's an obstruction there I which is me I believe let's just keep going forwards yeah, time really is the only thing. How long have you got to do this? Right, I think I've demonstrated this nicely. And then of course you could start putting down a foundation and a floor. Now what I'm going to do is pause it and find a suitable location to demonstrate on the side of a mountain. So this is for building a town. You'd flatten all this space. Next we're going to take a look at a really hilly area where you aren't going to want to flatten out this much land. You're simply going to want to flatten out enough land to put a solace down. So I'll be back in a little bit. Right, in this next demonstration, so I found this side of a mountain. And in this next demonstration, we're not going to be trying to flatten a huge amount of uh, land to build a town because it'd be impractical uh, well you know because you'd have to 
it'd be too steep and there'd be lots of problems uh, to do that. Um, what you would do is flatten a bit of a small bit of area and then perhaps if you had lots of stone build outwards that way which in the next episode I'm going to cover building so but for this episode and for this demonstration I'm going to flatten just enough land to put down a solace which is what you're going to need to do quite frequently um, in order to progress across the land so right let's bring the terraform in window back up and as you can see here it's currently saying it's obstructed because am I standing in it? yeah I am so let's move out of that and remember just to move it and then move it back again to see if it was you so there's something else obstructing that that's fine let's move back let's move it across there you go right this is perfect now we just click flatten uh, unlock first because you need to set get a flat area as a template to set that to so first we'll flatten there we go now we can set that lock that height oops let's now move over and have a look so you see it's flattened just this bit of land here and oh what's that going for oh that's because I paused and it took a long time to find this bit of land right okay so let's move out the grid and see if we can get any more flat yeah there you go move it this way make sure I'm not in the way oh it's saying it's complaining it's too steep which you know we are on the side of a mountain so we're going to be realistic here that we want to get just enough to build a solace and we have enough um, I'm just demonstrating perhaps that you can make it a bit bigger if you wish if you persevere we could go this direction but this suits the purpose of this exercise so let's come out terraforming let's go into build let's do selection place down a foundation and let's now put in a solace and there you go and that's it that's all I wanted to achieve is to get that enough flat land to put a solace down and um, of course I always upgrade mine with the storage every little helps and there we go so hopefully you found the uh, two uh, examples I've given handy for your future terraforming needs so you either find a nice bit of land that can be uh, fit in a town so you can flatten it all out or a, a hilly side, hillside like this where you can just flatten enough to put down the solace you don't need much you only need the center tile to be flat like this wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep you safe in the next episode we'll take a look at some basic building Goodbye.